Hello everyone and welcome to Groom's classes. Uh, today, from the circulatory system of uh, class 10 biology, okay, we'll be doing the human heart. You all know very well, human heart, it is, uh, it acts as a pumping organ, okay, and it is uh, located, okay, in between the right and the left lungs, okay. So, this is the right lung and this is the left lung and in between the right and the left lung, the human heart is located and normally it is a size of a human feast okay the main function of human heart okay is to pump the blood to different parts of the uh, of the body okay now if we see the human heart the human heart is you know in general if i need to draw the diagram then see the human heart is like this now the human heart is divided into two two parts that is the left part and the right part okay and you know it is divided if we see according to the chambers then it the upper chambers are known as auricles and the lower chambers are known as what ventricles ventricles and between the auricles and the ventricles what is present valves are present okay what are present valves valves are special doors or flaps which opens only on one direction like your your you know room door also it opens only in one direction it doesn't open the other direction you know other direction yes and some doors are there okay so valve is you know um, flaps or doors okay which opens only in one direction allowing the flow of the blood only in one direction so if the blood tries to flow the opposite uh, in the opposite direction the valve closes okay so in between auricle and ventricle the valves are present so in between this auricle and ventricle valves are present okay now the you know the the lower portion that is the ventricular portion is bit you know tilted towards the left hand side okay so that means uh, normally the human heart is tilted bit towards the the left hand side normally we draw human heart like this so it is tilted bit towards the left hand side okay so that is why we feel the throbbing of the heart on the left hand but actually it is situated in the middle region okay uh, you know in between the right and the uh, left lungs it is situated in the middle but tilted towards the left hand side the ventricles are tilted towards the left hand side so that is why we feel the throbbing of the heart on the you know on the left hand side fine so that is why normally we keep your heart when uh, we keep your hand on the left hand side the monograms or on the left uh, you know left hand side or you know um, so we feel normally that the heart is on the left hand side but actually it is situated in the middle now the main function of human heart is to uh, pump the blood okay now here i have drawn a simple diagram of a heart fine i'll uh, try to draw a more simpler diagram also if you see a human heart the human heart has ventricles on the lower side and the auricles in the upper chambers the upper chambers are known as auricles and the lower chambers are known as ventricles and the auricle and ventricle okay they are separated by a valve okay and the name of this valve we can write here this is the left side and this is the right side okay and between the right auricle and right ventricle there is a valve called tricuspid valve and between the left auricle and left ventricle there is a valve is known as bicuspid valve okay and this is known as superior vena cava this is known as inferior vena cava so vena cava so both the superior and the inferior vena cava brings blood to the auricle and blood enters the ventricle and from the ventricle again the blood rushes to the pulmonary artery and from pulmonary artery it goes to lungs so you can write here to lungs okay fine and once in the lungs okay the blood is oxygenated that means carbon dioxide containing blood goes to the lungs from pulmonary artery then carbon then oxygen containing blood again enters the pulmonary vein and comes to this left auricle and from left auricle it enters the left ventricle and when the ventricle contracts then blood rushes out from this aorta to different parts of the body so this aorta you can draw like this also yeah let me make a bit thick yeah okay so this in short i explained you about human heart the covering of the human heart is known as pericardium 
Now let me explain the, the same diagram of human heart in a more simpler way. Okay. Now see, this is human heart. Okay. And So this diagram I'm drawing okay so that you all can understand the diagram of the heart in a you know in an easy manner so this is the human heart and the covering of the human heart is known as pericardium so let me draw the pericardium so let us write peri p e r i c a r d i u m pericardium okay the human heart is divided into left side and right side with the help of a thick muscular sheet okay which is known as septum fine so this is known as septum fine now the upper portion are known as auricles so let us make the auricle and the lower portions are known or the lower chambers are known as ventricles okay so let us make auricle now and ventricles I'm drawing this diagram in a more simple format so that it becomes easy for you all to understand okay so yeah fine now or you can do like this also yeah it will be better yes okay now see here what we have drawn here is these are ventricles so let us write ventricles with blue okay ventricle okay and uh, okay and this is auricle okay so this is auricle and this is ventricle since they are on the right hand side so this is known as right auricle and right ventricle fine so likewise this also is auricle and this is what ventricle okay so now this is auricle this is ventricle on the left hand side so this is left auricle and left ventricle so let us make like this suppose this is the auricle now try to understand this is the left hand side left auricle left ventricle right auricle right ventricle fine now let us study the okay where is my marker fine where did i keep my marker okay fine i got it okay now what happens is that the carbon dioxide containing blood try to understand okay the carbon dioxide containing blood enters so yeah carbon dioxide containing blood enters the right auricle through a blood vessel which is known as vena cava so let me write here vena cava vena cava 
okay and then sorry i will write here this way okay and vena kava is here also vena kava so that means both these blood vessels they carry carbon dioxide containing blood carbon dioxide containing blood okay from the lower portion of the body and from the upper portion of the body okay so this blood vessel is known as superior vena cava superior vena cava and since it this vena cava okay carries the blood carbon dioxide containing blood from the lower portion of the body it is known as inferior vena cava inferior vena cava this is inferior vena cava this is superior vena cava and then they carry carbon dioxide containing blood okay where to the right auricle so that means i can write here carbon dioxide containing blood so now carbon dioxide containing blood is in auricle so from the auricle okay the carbon dioxide containing blood enters the ventricle enters ventricle try to understand now now when the ventricle contracts because heart is a pumping organ and ventricle contracts and relaxes now when the ventricle contracts the carbon dioxide containing blood carbon dioxide containing blood tries to go back okay to auricle tries to go back to auricle but there is a valve what is there there is a valve and there is a valve okay and that valve gets closed with the flow because of the flow of the blood only okay and the name of that valve is tri cuspid valve see here then what happens the tricuspid valve is present between the the tricuspid valve is present between the auricle and the ventricle of the right hand side of the heart as a result when the ventricle contracts okay when the right ventricle contracts blood tries to flow back to auricle but the tricuspid valve closes as a result there is only one way for the deoxygenated or carbon dioxide containing blood to go that is out of the heart that is out of the heart so it goes out of the heart what goes out of the heart carbon dioxide containing blood where does it go okay it goes out of the heart through where through this blood vessel and the name of this blood vessel is pulmonary pulmonary artery okay this is what pulmonary artery try to understand now why is this called pulmonary artery normally artery carries only what oxygenated blood but here artery is carrying what deoxygenated blood now why here this pulmonary artery is called an artery why is this blood vessel called artery is because the ventricle is pumping the blood the ventricle is pumping the blood and it has to go to the lungs it is going to where to lungs why because in the lungs the carbon dioxide is given okay to the alveolus and from the 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 air sac oxygen is taken so that means okay for the exchange of the gases for the purification of the blood okay the blood carbon dioxide containing blood is rushed to the lungs fine and that blood is carried by whom pulmonary artery and why is this blood vessel called artery because this blood vessel has to withstand the immense pressure okay of the ventricle fine so since it has to withstand that pressure of the ventricle it has to be strong and elastic muscular also so that is why this blood vessel has to be what strong enough has to be an artery so pulmonary towards the lungs or associated with the lungs and artery okay a strong muscular elastic blood vessel so this pulmonary artery carries carbon dioxide containing blood what type of blood carbon dioxide containing blood where to lungs so the question might come or there is a saying that all artery carry oxygenated blood except pulmonary artery okay 
now again the second phase is there now the ventricle has contracted now ventricle again expands okay now when the ventricle expands what happens is that now when the ventricle expands in that case okay the blood from the auricle again flows down because the valve was closed when the ventricle contracted the valve was closed when the ventricle expands again the the blood from a suction force is created in fact a suction force is created and then the blood carbon dioxide containing blood again from auricle rushes to ventricle and the valve also opens because you know the tricuspid valve is designed in such a way that it can open only in one direction so the blood rushes or is sucked from okay auricle to ventricle because the ventricle is expanding but in that case because of that suction force the outgoing blood from the pulmonary artery towards the lung is also sucked in okay so in that case in that case okay the 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 backflow of the blood again is prevented by a valve which is all again present there in the pulmonary artery which is known as semilunar valve okay so you can write okay let's write with red so that it becomes visible you can write pulmonary semilunar valve also or you can write semilunar valve since i don't have enough space here okay so the name of this valve is pulmonary semilunar valve associated with the pulmonary artery pulmonary semilunar valve let me write here p but when you write in an exam write the full okay uh, the word pulmonary semilunar valve so the backflow of the blood again is prevented by the pulmonary semilunar valve because at that time the this valve gets closed this valve gets open but this valve gets closed because of the suction force of the ventricle now the blood has already reached the lungs in the lungs the exchange of the gases has taken place and the carbon dioxide is given to the lungs and oxygen is taken now that oxygenated blood again is brought to the heart okay with the help of a blood vessel which is known as pulmonary vein okay so these vein are known as what pulmonary vein so pulmonary vein they carry okay oxygenated oxygenated blood here what is this carbon dioxide content let me write with blue okay normally carbon dioxide blood or containing blood okay so color coding here oxygenated blood the oxygenated blood yeah enters through pulmonary vein inside the left auricle fine i hope you know what is left auricle now so the oxygenated blood okay from the lungs is again brought with the help of pulmonary vein to the left auricle and from the left auricle you know the blood is sucked down to left ventricle fine when the ventricle contracts when the ventricle contracts again the same thing happens when the ventricle contracts the oxygenated blood let me make here with red mm. the oxygenated blood is here yeah the oxygenated blood is in the ventricle now the ventricle contracts when the ventricle contracts the blood tries to flow back again to left auricle but there again is a valve which prevents the back flow of the valve and that valve name is bicuspid valve by cuspid valve or mitral valve mitral valve 
बाइकस्पिड बाल्ब और मिट्रल बाल्ब एज अ रिजल्ट वेन द वेंट्रिकल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दिस ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड ट्राइज टू गो बैक टू लेफ्ट ऑरिकल बट द बाइकस्पिड बाल्ब क्लोजेस दैट मीन्स देर इज ओनली वन वे फॉर द ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड टू गो आउट ऑफ द हार्ट एंड दैट इज ओके फ्रॉम दिस वे ओके सो दिस वे इट गोज आउट ऑफ द हार्ट एंड दिस ब्लड वेसल विच कैर इज ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड आउट ऑफ द हार्ट इज नोन एज आउटा आउटा so this aorta then carries the oxygenated blood to different parts of the body so you can write here to body to different parts of the body fine now when the ventricle here the ventricle has contracted now when the ventricle expands the blood oxygenated blood again rushes down to ventricle at that time this valve opens up but at that time because of the generation of the suction force the outgoing blood again might be you know pulled back to the heart so to prevent the back flow of the blood again there is a valve present here in the aorta which is known as aortic semilunar valve aortic semi lunar semi lunar valve okay aortic semi lunar valve fine so that means there are four valves okay tricuspid valve bicuspid valve or mitral valve and then pulmonary semi lunar valve and aortic semi lunar valve now overall if we see then this phenomenon which i explained just now takes together both the ventricle contracts now try to understand both the ventricle contracts okay at that time what happens is that blood tries to go back to the auricles but the valve closes as a result the blood goes out of these okay blood vessels one from the pulmonary artery that is the carbon dioxide containing blood to the lungs and one out of the body to the aortic uh, you know <coughs> aorta sorry and when again the ventricle expands again a suction force is created and then the blood is rushed down on one side the carbon dioxide containing blood on the other side the oxygen containing blood okay so that means when the ventricle contracts when the ventricle contracts these two valves open up but these two valves closes yes or no the tricuspid valve and the bicuspid valve closes when the ventricle contracts at that time there is you know a sound that is produced when these two valve closes tricuspid and bicuspid valve closes when the ventricle contracts and that is known as lub okay lub is the sound produced by the closing of this tricuspid and bicuspid valve and when the ventricle expands at that time these two valves open but these two valves closes again so a sound is produced which is known as dub so so here is lap dub lap dub is there fine so this way the heart acts as a pumping organ and you know the blood oxygenated blood is supplied to different parts of the body but the heart itself is an organ and it also requires the oxygenated blood the food because its tissues also its cells also needs you know food to survive so that is why from the base of the aorta from the base of the aorta from the base of this aorta two blood vessels arises and supplies supplies the oxygenated blood okay to both the sides of the heart and these blood vessels are known as coronary artery coronary artery okay fine so they are known as what coronary artery and when there is a blockage in this coronary artery then what will happen is heart attack okay 
so the, at that time what happens so that is why nowadays various techniques are there whereby uh, you, you know suppose there is a blockage then bypass surgery is also done again the blood is taken suppose there is a blockage then the root is changed and then it again the blood vessel is joined from here to here okay or you know um, uh, angioplasty is also done whereby they put you know uh, um, some inks and all inside our body uh, uh, in, in the heart and then they see which part of the coronary artery is blocked so it's very important so that is why you know or inside the coronary artery if fats are deposited then also at that time also you know the person might have attack or the rupture could also be there in the coronary artery so a healthy diet a healthy you know lifestyle and exercise is a must fine so dear students okay uh, kindly go through this okay in short let me explain you this is the human heart okay and then now what happens is that from the heart the carbon dioxide containing blood goes to lungs let me do color coding no? lungs okay now uh, we have is the human heart here and the lungs here and the body here okay from the heart the carbon dioxide containing blood goes to the lungs and from the lungs it comes to the heart so this circulation is known as pulmonary circulation okay and from the heart the oxygenated blood goes to the body and from the body it again goes to the heart so this circulation is known as systemic circulation okay pulmonary circulation and systemic circulation okay now the contraction of the heart the contraction of the heart is known as systole the contraction of the heart is known as what systole and the relaxation of the heart is known as diastole when the heart contracts when the heart contracts at that time the tricuspid and the bicuspid valve closes yes or no? and at that time a sound is produced that is known as love fine when the when the ventricle relaxes at that time the semilunar valve closes and a sound is produced that is known as dub the relaxation of the heart is known as diastole diastole produces dub systole produces okay lap sound fine now the question sometimes you know some diagrams might be given and then you need to see the position of the valve if the valve are closed that is okay systolic okay and then uh, if the valves are open then that is diastole okay the diastole position of the heart so you have to be very very you know particular about that now when the blood flows when the heart pumps the blood then a pressure you know heart pumps the blood with great pressure at that time you know blood flows through the blood vessel and the blood hits the blood vessel with a force that force can you know be tapped with the help of an instrument called spike manometer and a stethoscope and we measure that uh, the the pressure is measured in a mercury you know in a mercury you know tube or nowadays you you have you have is digital also okay that is called spike manometer so normally the pressure that is you know observed in a normal uh, you know or, or a fully grown adult is 120 by 80 whereby 120 is the systolic pressure and 80 is the diastolic pressure okay so systolic pressure and diastolic pressure now normally when the heart pumps the blood you know the artery or the outer and then from the outer you know the artery carries the oxygenated blood to different parts of the body fine but artery which carries oxygenated blood now you all know very well there are three types of blood vessels which you all have already studied but then also in the next video we'll do uh, we'll study about that artery vein and capillaries artery carry oxygenated blood vein carry deoxygenated blood all these blood vessels which you find on top of your you know the uh, on, you know on the surface of your skin your sorry i mean to say your this palm okay these all are vein artery the vein are present superficially artery they are deeply rooted so the heart pumps the blood and then the blood is carried by artery and then you know it is deep beneath the skin but at certain places it come out okay it come out on the surface and again go down fine so those uh, at that place where artery has come out if we place our finger then we can feel the throbbing of the heart the heart pumping and the blood rushing okay through a jerk okay so you know uh, that place where we feel the throbbing of the heart in an artery which has come out is known as pulse is known as a 
pulse okay so uh, dear students okay kindly go through this diagram and this diagram okay and uh, the names the functions normally okay the diagram of heart could come and then the names the functions coronary artery okay so dear students thank you thank you very very much